All right, I'm Carrie. We're here at the Dallas International Film Festival, and I am going to absolute. I'm still gonna fail at telling me your. Okay, I, I yeah. Mess up too. Vish Valabanani. 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 Yes. There you I, go. I was so close. Yeah. Okay, here you say it so people will actually know who you are. Uh, Vish Valabanani. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about sunshine and rain, which is this is not your first feature, is it? Uh, it's a short, actually. Oh. Uh, it's uh, it's not my first short. No. But. Uh, it's, I would say I'm still kind of early on in my career. I'm only 22. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's about a it's about a girl who drops out of college mm -hmm. to take care of her family in South Dallas. Yes. Um, we shot a, we shot the exteriors of it in Dallas. That's great. Um, yeah. So uh, I mean, it's based on a true story um, about my friend who drops out of college to take care of her family, mm -hmm. um, and like you know, her mom is sort of going through alcohol abuse, and her brother needs help at home. Um, so. I told it because I, I mean, one, I, I love my friend, and like I, I feel like that's a story that doesn't get shown on screen enough. So, when I was writing the script, I, um, she was involved in the writing process, and I, we went back and forth on it. So. How'd she feel about that? Like when you said, you know, I'm moved by your story, and I want to put you yeah. on screen. It was a tough conversation. Um, I, I still don't know how maybe fully she feels about it. I, I showed her the film, um, and she was she liked it, but it, it's tough to watch. I mean, when when it's so personal like that, it's Absolutely. it's hard to um, you know accept it wholeheartedly. Um, but I I think it was something that maybe she appreciated. I don't, I'm not sure. It's a tough question to answer. Um, but the process of writing it with her was definitely enriching for me. Um, it was like getting as close to the source as possible, which is something that I always try to do, whether it's a documentary or whether it's narrative. So let me ask you this. Does, is her family aware of, of the film? Yeah, I think she showed the script to her mom as well, um, who's doing much better now. Uh, and uh, um, yeah. But. You know, sometimes things like this, I feel like, can be a big opportunity for healing, you know, kind of a catharsis for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think it can be. I think it can be, depending how you take it, but it can be, yeah. All right, well, tell me about your lead actress. Okay. Uh, her name is... Jesus, I'm totally blanking. Her name, her name is, her name is uh, Jantel. Jantel, my God, I love you, Jantel. Sorry. Her name is Kayla. <laughs> her name is Kayla. Her name is Kayla. The, the character's name is Kayla. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, she's she's a great actress. Um, she's still working. Uh, does a lot of short films around town, and uh, um, I, I I thought she was perfect for the part because she like came in with like she came into the audition with like the exact energy that I was looking for. Like she came in like rushed. She was late. But she like used that like energy like in her audition to like channel Kayla, who's like this like kind of like a manic ball of energy, but like is still has her head on and is like constantly trying to look for the right answer. Um, she was yeah, I, th I thought she was fantastic for the role. Um, I'm ex I'm trying to expand the the short into like a mini series and uh, a feature as well. I'm writing a treatment for it, so um, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. So when you were choosing. Kayla, when you were casting Kayla, were you, I mean, I'm interested to know how far you went basing this on your friend. You know, did she, was she in with you in the casting? Were you looking for someone with her energy, kind of with her quirks, her personality, or were you kind of like, okay, this, she's the inspiration, that's as far as we need to take this? Yeah, uh, so I, she wasn't involved in the casting. Um, she was involved in the script phase. When I, when I wrote the first draft, I showed it to her and she gave me notes. Um, after that, I thought it was best to maybe distance yourself away from the inspiration sure. and then let the film live in its own world a little bit. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, she was, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, before we go, tell me a little bit more about you. You said you're only 22. You know, are you in film school? Are you working on more projects? What's going on with you right now? Um, so, I graduated um, from UT, the film school. Yes. <laughs> okay. Burn orange. Yeah. Uh, now I'm in Los Angeles. I'm working for a talent agency. Great. Um, and I'm writing as much as I can. I mean, that's all I really 
have. That's all I'm really focused on is like writing any time that I have free time. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully I'll have more projects coming out soon. Yeah. Well, we're kind of crossing our fingers. We might get you back to the great state away from, lure you back from California. Yeah, I mean, I think Texas film like really needs to have a resurgence. I, I like Linklater and Terrence Malick did a fantastic job and Rodriguez too, Absolutely. about like establishing it as a hub. Um, the thing that's going on with the tax credits, not a fan of. No. Let's change that, Greg Abbott. Other things too, but uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I think I think there's a lot of potential because there's so much talent in Texas that I think is rare, and I don't see in LA. Um, so definitely, I want to keep making Texas stories. Anything I can do to foster that, I'm down for. So yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the best way to get a Texas resurgence is to bring in new blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back. I'll come back. All right, you heard it here first. He's coming back. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for coming, and have a good time tonight.